Hi guys, bright sunny day out there again. We made this simple car a couple of days ago and then we converted it to balloon power by just putting a bit of sticky tape on top and connecting the balloon directly to the sticky tape. Today I'm going to see if I can convert it to rubber band power. So first thing I'm going to do is take the wheels off again there's a good chance I'll actually break them if I'm trying to modify the bottle with the wheels still attached. What I want to do is cut the bottom off because then I can reach inside and get to the axle and wrap the rubber band around it. So the plan is just to hold that knife And go round and round and cut the bottom off. You could try using scissors. Just doing it a bit at a time, so hopefully, eventually, I'll get through. Oh, that's gone offline. That's got a bit of a score around there. We should be able to dig in. Off with a pair of scissors. All right. So there we are. There's our bottle with a hole in the bottom now. We also need a way of connecting the rubber band at this end. could just push a hole down through there and we can stick another bit of barbecue skewer down through there. So if we start off, oh that's going to be a bit hard. The neck of the bottle is much harder than the rest of the bottle. Again, if you heated up a nail under a flame that would push through there easily. And I'm trying to limit the tools as I keep saying. So we've had to add a knife to our list of tools. We're now going to have to add something to make that hole a bit bigger. Because a pencil won't do it. I might be able to use the end of the scissors again. Again, do be careful doing this. Depends what sort of scissors you've got as to whether they've got a point on the end that you can do this with. Side. 
might well be best to let an adult do that for you. Right, that should do for us. Now you might find, when we do this, that the wheels start to slip on the axle. Because when the rubber band turns, turns this, sometimes it leaves the wheels behind and they spin like that. So you could either put some more bits of cardboard on it, like we did before to thicken it up, that will help. Or you could just put some sticky tape over the outside, and that will help hold it in place as well. Remember, make sure you've got a gap so that they can swap around a little bit. Alright, we're now going to need a bit of this to go through there. Your scissors might do it, or you might have to use the knife. If you're using the knife, fingers clear. If you go round a few times, you don't need to go all the way through. Now it would be really helpful if you make that into a little bit of a point, because it will make it go in easier. If you've got some sandpaper, you could rub it down to a point. Or, if you've got some rocks or bricks outside, you can rub it against that and you'll get a point on it. I'll go and see if I can get a brick to show you. So here we are, an ordinary house brick. And we can use that like sandpaper. If you go outside and do this on the wall of your house, you'll probably get in trouble because it's going to leave a mark on the brick. There you are, we've got a bit of a point. Doesn't need to be perfect. It just makes it easier to push it through. And that's, that's how we're going to attach the rubber band at that end. Right, so we'll put this back through. We'll do it without adding tape on the outside to hold them at the moment because we might be able to demonstrate what goes wrong. Now, rubber bands. We need enough to go from the front to the back. Three of these will probably probably be enough. If you haven't got enough, you can probably do this: a piece of string, tie it in a loop, and then you put that through the loop of the rubber band, through itself, and pull it tight, and that will extend the reach for you if you've only got one rubber band. But we'll try it with all rubber bands first. 
So to join the rubber bands together, push one through and then push that through the loop. Push that through and push that through the loop. And there you are, we've got longer rubber band now. And we want this to go in there. hold it in place. Now this is the bit where it's a little bit awkward. You need to put the rubber band over the top of the axle, turn it round so that the rubber band goes over itself and that will hold it in place without having to put a little hook on the rubber band on the axle. So now that will work. It's best to let the rubber band go underneath that axle, the front axle, the way I've got it there, so it's underneath. So when it drops off the back axle, it drops to the bottom of the bottle rather than laying over the top of that axle because that will slow it down if it's laying over the top. We'll give it a try. So, rubber band. Over the top. Round so it holds itself in place. We don't need to wrap it up too much, we just want to get it to run. Right, wheel spin. Too much power, or we can add some weight to it to help the wheels grip. I'll get some weight. Right, I've got an old battery, I'll put a bit of tape on it. to stop it falling out. Looks to me like I needed a bit more tape on it, but we'll try it like that. Yeah, that made the difference. Do that again. Oh, still spun a little bit. I'll just try it with one more battery in the back there, give it a bit more weight. So there we are, a very basic rubber band powered car. It's not going to go for miles like that, because with the cardboard wheels being a bit wobbly and all the rest of it, it's not going to go terribly straight. But we covered off how to connect the rubber bands together, how to hold them in place, 
how to wrap them around the back axle without actually having to put a hook on there and adding a bit of weight to stop the wheels sliding. What we didn't do was add any sticky tape on the outside just to stop the wheels sliding on the axle, which we could have done, but we'll save that for another time. So that'll do for today. A very simple rubber van powered car. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.